Yo, Pisces. Pisces, one, two, one, two. The thing is on. So look, I may cuss, but I don't curse. Let's get that situated first. Bars. What else? If you want me or you need me, there's a difference. There'll be a link to my website in the description box to take you there to where you can set up an appointment with me through my calendar. We could virtual conference like this, face to face, one on one. Pause. Via Google Meet, pause again. Because that's crazy. But we can. We could pick apart your chart bars, not the whole entire chart. Calm your tits. Because that would be too much. You get an hour. It's an hour at a time. All right? If you get a natal chart reading, it should be longer than an hour. I'm just saying. Um, I'm trying to minimize it now, but it still is going to end up being longer than an hour. But where was I? Right. We can do a astrological reading or we could do a tarot reading. It's truly up to you. I could even mix the two bars because I'm nice. Nah. <laughs> what else? Um... Nah, I think that's it. It's going to be a three-card drawing. going to hold you long. And with that being said, let's get these cards red bars. All right, this card right here represents the situation at hand for the Pisces energy. The devil in reverse. This card right here represents how you feel about the situation. The, what? The pool. Oh, the fool. I'm like, yo, the pool. What the fuck is going on here? The fool, excuse me. <laughs> In reverse, too, in reverse. This card right here represents the factor to consider regarding the situation. The King of Swords. All right. All right, look. I see. Oh, God, here we go with this shit, Pisces, man. All right, you feel like picking up and going on a journey, an adventure, a journey, a trip. I don't know if you, if you, how long you staying, how long you going, but you want to go because you feel passionately led to do so. But that ain't it. You got somebody in your scope with this devil card in reverse. There's a couple in this card. There always is, right? We'll put it this way. This could be this could be someone. Now look, if this is not someone that you're looking at to go rendezvous with, then this is something that you've relinquished, you've released. You let no long you no longer let this thing have control over you or have you bond by some type of restriction or restraint and in that process it has you like well I can go and since I've conquered this demon so to speak I can go after it but it's like or you can go after yeah it's kind of like you can go after your dreams or whatever you're going to pursue but you're going after what you just left it's like this passion you see how much red is in this devil card there's so much passion and rapture in that. This Mars is burning bright in this Fool card. And it's like, not for nothing. It's like, that's what's inside of you. And you got your eyes closed. It's like you're blindly walking right back into potentially a relationship or a behavior or vice that had you bound in the first place that you had to be released from and you make it fit the way it's supposed to fit pause was it a behavior or was it a person is it a behavior now or is it a person now um yeah but it's definitely passion i tell you like this if it's a person that you're after right now. It's like the devil has a hold on this person. I get that this person is attractive. For those of y'all who are dealing with a person. This person is attractive. 
And the devil makes sure of that. I'm not even joking. Do not take this lightly. The devil makes sure that this person is attractive. The devil makes sure that this person is everything you've ever desired. And if not, on your journey, there's going to be an obsession or a behavior, a vice that you pick up that's going to be just as attractive. Now, if you take this journey, this trip with no solid foundation, when I mean by solid foundation, I mean a network. It's, it's pretty risky. It's pretty risky. Now let's get to the factor to consider. I almost started here. But now I'm going to get there. Now I'm going to get to it. There's somebody that has their eye on you. This person is a prominent figure. They may have an air ascendant, an air moon, or an air sun. Or Mercury might rule their chart. They might have a Virgo ascendant, a Gemini ascendant. Um, this could be the person that you've released, that you've relinquished the bondage from with this devil card. If so, it's not over in their eyes. And when I say it's not over, they feel like they have authority over your life. Um, but you know what I'm getting? I'm getting maybe... It's interesting because to break away from this person... Because they they have an authoritative sta style, I sort of I, I slipped and said style. So they have an authoritative style. They may come across as they're a leader. They may look like a leader, right? So they embody the mold of a King of Swords archetype. Um, but it just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough for you because they're too. I don't know, Hasidity to, to, you know, well, I wore this to the event and they had on that. And I was just like, are you fucking serious? And then they looked at me funny and this, that, and that. And it was like, it was an all white affair. You wore black, like knock it off. You knew what you was doing type shit. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, but they're kind of snooty. Um, and they think, How can I say it? They're not, they don't have the eccentric shit that you're looking for. And it's like the blues, the blues here that match up in this card, in these cards. It's like they gave you something and you just took it and ran. And you see the eyes on this motherfucker though? Like, look at the eyes looking that way like where the fuck do you think oh shit pardon but like where the fuck do you think you going there's even eyes on the armor of this king of swords got a lot of eyes everywhere whoever this person is they powerful they could fuck around and find you if they wanted to um or at least they'll definitely be looking. And again, but this is the type of person that... This is the type of person that will rely. They'll like hire somebody to private investigate you. And track you down. And in belief that... That person isn't corruptible. So like... And I know this may sound wild. But the person that comes to track you down... Could actually fall for you. Or have a uh, soft spot for your situation. You're like, oh no, I just felt I had to leave the town to get a, to get a new life and, you know, go with my new bitch or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And what the fuck is wrong with that? Am I guilty for that? And then the private investigator would be like, oh, I found the whistle of theirs with their fingerprints on it somewhere, but I didn't find their body or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and just flip the whole shit around and they done got paid and all that, and they still ain't fixed this King of Swords um, situation. 
about you. I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on, man. I don't know what the fuck we got going on. But I like it. I'm just saying, be careful. The fool in reverse suggests have a network. Or don't do this type of shit that you think you're about to do. If you haven't already done it. Have a network. You need you need a support system in order to do shit. Because this motherfucker's elite. This chick, you make the gender fit the way it's supposed to fit. This chick... Yeah, this dude, it ain't going to be so easy unless, I guess, they bow out gracefully. I don't know. It looks like it's over, but I don't know. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's all I got. Until next time, I'm out.